Question 1. What is client, server? Answer. Client. The client hardware is the desktop machine that runs client software. It could be a micro or a workstation. The client software formulates data request and passes the request to the network software. This software sends the request to the server, accepts the result from the server and passes the request back to the client software. Server. A server is the machine that runs data management software that has been designed for server functionality. A server has operating system software, data management software and a portion of the network software. Question 2. Define file server. Answer. File server. File servers manage a work group's applications and data files, so that they may be shared by the group. File servers are very I.O. oriented. They pull large amounts of data off their storage subsystems and pass the data over the network. When the data from the file is requested, a file server transmits all records from the file. Question 3. What are the service-specific middleware available? Answer. ODBC. Open Database Connectivity is a Windows technology that lets a database client application connect to a external database. To use ODBC, the database vendor must provide an ODBC driver for data access. HTTP. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the underlying protocol used by the World Wide Web. HTTP defines how messages are for formatted and transmitted and action web servers and browsers should take in response to various commands. HTTP only supports transmission of text. Question 4. Define the services provided by web server. Answer. Web server. A web server is a computer system that delivers web pages. Every web server has an IP address and possibly a domain name. For example, an URL this sends a request to the server whose domain name is nisindia.com. The server fetches the page named index, HTML and sends back to our browser. Question 5. What is Remote Procedure Call? Answer. Remote Procedure Call RPC, one of the earliest facilities that was created to help programmers write client-server software is known generically as a remote procedure call mechanism. When implementing a program, the programmer uses procedures to keep the code manageable. Instead of defining a single, large procedure that performs many tasks, the programmer divides the tasks into sets and uses uses shorter procedure to handle each set. A client procedure process calls a function on a remote server and suspends itself until it gets back the result. This process that issues the calls and waits until it gets the result is called remote procedure call. Question 6. Explain a cluster. Answer. Cluster is said to be group of queue managers logically connected together to balance the load on the remote machine, i.e. if it is remote queue managers which processes your message. And there are two types of grouping on the queue managers. 1. Full repository. 2. Partial repository. The full repository queue manager knows all other queue managers in the cluster and whenever a message comes to it, and if that is unable to process the message it will find a queue in other queue manager in the cluster and ask it to process the message. Question 7. What is a queue? Answer. Queue is a data structure which is stored the messages, and every queue has own queue manager. Queue manager are maintaining the all queues. Different types of queues are available in WebSphere MQ in different purpose. But generally four types of queues are their local queue, remote queue, alias queue, model queue. Question 8. What is the next step? Answer. Assuming you already executed all TN database script. Go to JDBC pools. It's divided into three parts. In second part, you configure the pool and give a name to that pool x, TN pool. In first part, you find TN pools. Edit and associate the TN pool with that. Save and restart the server. You can access the TN server from TN console or MWS. Question 9. What is a heap dump? Thread dump? Answer. Thread dump. When we trigger a thread dump on an application server, all active thread informations will be dumped into file which is known as thread dump. Here, we can get information about thread like active thread, hung thread, deadlock, runnable and inactive thread info. Command. Kill minus 3 pid. Process it. Heap dump. It's snapshot of our JVM heap memory. So here we can have all active Java objects 
objects and their activities which object doing what and how much memory it is occupying. Question 10. What are the installation modes in WebLogic? Answer. Page. The administration server first copies the deployment unit source files to the staging directories of target servers specified by the staging directory name attribute. The target servers then deploy using their local copy NOSTAGE. The administration server does not copy deployment unit files. Instead, all servers deploy using the same physical copy of the deployment files, which must be directly accessible by the administration server and target servers. With Nostage deployments of exploded archive directories, WebLogic server automatically detects changes to a deployment's JSPs or servlets and refreshes the deployment. Storage. The administration server does not copy deployment files. Instead, the administrator must ensure that deployment files are distributed to the correct staging directory location before deployment. With external underscore stage deployments, the administration server requires a copy of the deployment files for validation purposes. Copies of the deployment files that reside in target server staging directories are not validated before deployment.